coming tonight. My name is Joel Bunch. I'm a librarian in our adult services department. Um, I book all of our live music programs for adults, so thank you for coming. Um, this is being live streamed. All of these videos exist on the Fayetteville Public Library's YouTube page. So if you'd like to watch any of our previous programs, you can find them there. We will also have more music coming, so if you'd like tonight's program and you want to see more, take a look at our website. There'll be plenty coming. One piece of housekeeping before I turn things over to the World Music Ensemble. Um, you'll notice there were some evaluation forms in your seats. If you'd let us know what you thought about tonight's program, greatly appreciate that. There's a box in the back where you can put those. And again, we appreciate your consideration in that. Now, if you'd please join me in welcoming the World Music Ensemble.
circus. Well, sounds like a circus music that you played, but it's a Sicilian tarantula. Uh, the, the whole dance uh, that uh, is the folk dance music that is comes actually from the ancient Greek world at the time. Uh, so it's been uh, well known as a tarantula rita. And uh, it goes like this. Well, tarantula reminds you of, you know, like the spider, uh, tarantula. It, it is about the spider, you know, like, and it's about, uh, the story is that spider, that bad spider that only beats women. And, uh, ooh, yes, uh, well, uh, and then actually she needs to dance herself to get healed. Uh, so, and that's the music, music, musicians actually get together and kind of play uh, music with this tarantula rhythm and uh, that she danced herself, uh, that she will get better. Well, that was uh, um, our uh, Tarantella Siciliana. Uh, so we are going to move to our next song or piece. It's called Dialogue. Uh, in a dialogue means literally conversation. We are going to make a little conversation dialogue over here between us, between each our kind of languages in music. Uh, and this is predominantly Middle Eastern with uh, Mediterranean flavor.
Thank you so much. Uh, uh, well, this is the World Music Ensemble that we have uh, every part of the jazz program that we have at the, at the University of Arkansas at the music department, and we are very proud that actually this is growing up, uh, jazz, our jazz program. And uh, two weeks ago we have a different combos. Uh, we have also the uh, Latin American uh, ensemble, uh, and we are also very proud to have this world music ensemble call it, which basically kind of explore the music uh, outside of the our normal kind of hearing uh, Western uh, music. So, uh, well, Western is also part of that, so we can actually uh, call it global music and, uh, and put it that way. So uh, uh, now we're going to play one piece that comes from Bulgaria, uh, and if, uh, it's a folk music. It's the and the in, the interesting thing of the Bulgarian folk music is that it has a very strange, odd rhythm, and it's very hard to catch it. And uh, so I, this is one challenge for you: Can you catch the beat? Uh, well, it's going to be have 11 beats. Uh, so, uh, and uh, it's not easy to uh, play that. So I'm very proud of these people uh, who I'm going to introduce in a moment. So, uh, I start Kopanica. Yeah, the name of the word, of the dance is Kopanica.
Thank you very much. That was a Kovanica uh, from uh, Bulgarian traditional uh, dance in, in uh, 11 beats. Uh, then we are going to play now uh, uh, folk, folk music from Greece, but not even from Greece. It's actually uh, um, more kind of Turkish uh, Greek music. Well, I would say Greek music in from Turkey. Uh, well, it's kind of complicated. Well, uh, and um, so... Uh, a lot of Greeks lived in Turkey, and by the 1920, when actually they were uh, forcefully uh, expelled from Turkey, and they came to Greece, which basically they never lived, and they lived as uh, refugees there. Uh, and this music that they basically kind of build is called Rembetica. Uh, it's the uh, kind of refugee music f of, of these people, and didn't sound like a you know, typical Greek music. So, uh, and um, long s story short, uh, well, the uh, government forbid actually usage of these songs because it was a lot of kind of combination with a, it's kind of blues with a com combination of it, uh, using drugs and heroin, etc. And uh, so at one point in 1960s, uh, well, the musician said like, okay, we can still use music, but we'll change the text. Maybe that will not kind of be, be happy now. So, so, but now it's back to what it was and kind of respectfully kind of recognize music as the blues from Greece or Greeks uh, uh, refugees. Rembetica. Thank you. 
Well, uh, now is the time that we're going to, I'm going to introduce uh, this uh, great choir that we have at the University of Arkansas. It's called uh, Razorback Chorus. Please uh, give him a big hand over here. <laughs> While they are going to set up over here, I'm going to quickly introduce our, uh, uh, the World Music Ensemble, and we have... Uh, uh, Kaylee over there, who plays Gujang and uh, French horn. And Gujang is the, uh, the ancient, really um, uh, classic uh, uh, Chinese uh, uh, harp type of instrument. Uh, then we have uh, Kyle on bass. Please give uh, Kyle a <laughs> hello. Then we have Parker on, on the bass trombone. <laughs> Nicholas on, on uh, uh, the drums. <laughs> then we have uh, the, uh, 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 one of the guitarists, uh, Brett. <laughs> Robin is, uh, no, plays two guitars uh, and uh, The other guitar that you play is the... Yeah, I've got like this like thing clipped to it that makes it sound fretless. It's pretty nice. cool. So it's a fretless uh, guitar. Yeah. Type <laughs> of, yes. Uh, then we have Tessa over here on the flute. <laughs> and Savannah uh, is here on the clarinet. <laughs> My name is Nicola Radan and I'm uh, running this program of the World Music Ensemble since 2018, and that was the first uh, kind of uh, music program that we have at the University of Arkansas that kind of explored the music from uh, elsewhere than just Westworld. Thank you. <laughs> now we have a Cole Brigham, Brigham Camp, who is uh, the, did I say right, did I butcher your name? <laughs> Birmingham. Birmingham, sorry. Uh, well, are you from England? <laughs> Well, uh, so, and he's going to be our conductor tonight. Uh, please uh, welcome. <laughs> and uh, raise a big chorus. Yes, um, before we begin, um, this is going to be a multi movement piece. This is some Monteverdi Lamento della Nymphe, and it's going to feature our wonderful soprano soloist, Dr. Lenore Green Turner. So please give a hand. It's going to be that's <laughs> is the uh, one of the really uh, kind of um, important composer for a particularly actually developing opera. Well, uh, his style of compositions basically uh, built the first opera house in Venice. Uh, and uh, oh, the, uh, besides the opera, he composed a lot of madrigals. The madrigals are love songs. Uh, and this particular love song is divided in th three parts, which basically we said. But there are the, the middle part is lament, is actually that uh, Lenora Green uh, uh, is 
is going to sing, and that's the kind of sad part. She's crying. She's crying on her uh, life and uh, what basically uh, she's going through, while the chorus is going to respond to her and kind of trying to calm her or kind of uh, hug her. Uh, and uh, so they are going to start first to to uh, to start the piece, and they're going to conclude as well.
Ladies and gentlemen, Leonora Green. Of course, Razor Bay Chorus and uh, the, uh, their conductor, uh, Cole Birmingham. Our last piece for tonight is going to be uh, a tune that mixes uh, two different traditions. And this is, uh, the story goes from the composer who was Polish original in the beginning of 17th century, Wojciech, Wojciech Bobowski. And he was uh, only 18 years old when he was captured by the Tatars. And he was... Uh, sold to the Ottoman uh, Empire as a slave and he, he then worked for Sultan and he became actually major uh, composer for Sultan uh, and he changed his name, his religion, he became Aliyuvki. Aliyuvki was originally uh, a Christian uh, who was uh, a Protestant and he particularly knew this Genevan Psalters from the 16th century, the beginning of Reformational Church. And uh, he learned when he was a child. So what he did when he was in Ottoman Empire, he composed these new psalms in the Ottoman Turkish uh, uh, version or, or music. So it's very interesting. You can recognize the tune that uh, Chorus is going to sing from the 16th century uh, uh, Geneva Psalter, Psalm 5, and the psi Psalm 5 by Ali Ufki, uh, which basically is going to have that Turkish style, more kind of Sufi, and I'm going to actually act as the Sufi uh, uh, kind of leader, and I'm going to kind of chant in the Ottoman Turkish way. So it's really interesting how basically this uh, music from dated from uh, 16th and 17th century talks about the same thing and the kind of uh, Aliyuvki became the major kind of bridge between the cultures of Islam and Christianity.
with the groups that we have in the music department. So have a great night and see you next year.